the solar system the sun eight planets satellites and some other celestial bodies known as asteroids and meteoroids form the solar system the sun the sun is the center of the solar system its size is very huge it is made up of extremely hot gases its tremendous heat is not felt so much by us because it is very far away from us the sun is about 150 million kilometer away from the earth The sun is the ultimate source of heat and light for the solar system. It provides the necessary pulling force that binds the solar system. Do you know light travels at a speed of about 300,000 km per second. Even at this speed, the light from the sun takes about 8 minutes to reach the earth. planets There are 8 planets in our solar system In order of their distance from the sun they are Mercury Venus Earth Mars Jupiter Saturn Uranus and Neptune out of these Mercury Venus Earth and Mars are known as terrestrial planets and Jupiter Saturn Uranus and Neptune are known as giant planets till very recently Pluto a planet has now been declared a dwarf planet all the eight planets of the solar system move around the sun in a fixed path these paths are elliptical and are called orbits jupiter saturn and uranus have rings around them these are belts of small debris these rings may be seen from the earth with the help of powerful telescopes the earth is the third nearest planet to the sun and is the fifth largest planet in the solar system The earth is not perfectly spherical in shape. It is slightly flattened at the pole and its shape is described as a geoid. Geoid means an earth-like shape. The earth is a unique planet in the solar system. It is neither too hot nor too cold. It has water and air. which are very essential for life to exist all these conditions make the earth suitable for supporting life from the outer space the earth appears blue because its two thirds surface is covered by water it is therefore called a blue planet the moon a satellite Satellite is a celestial body that moves around the planets in the same way as the planets move around the sun. Our earth has only one natural satellite, the moon. The diameter of the moon is only 1 quarter that of the earth. Being nearer to our planet than other celestial bodies, it appears big. It is at a distance of about 384,400 km from the earth.
the moon takes about 27 days to go once round the earth. It is in synchronous rotation with earth. As a result, only one side of the moon is visible to us on the earth. The moon does not have conditions favorable for life. It has neither water nor air. It has plains, mountains and depressions on its surface. These cast shadows on the moon's surface. Human-made satellite Artificial satellites are human-built objects orbiting the Earth and other planets in the solar system. These satellites are designed to gather information about the Earth, the universe or for communication. Artificial satellite is carried by a rocket and placed in the orbit around the Earth. Some of the Indian satellites in space are INSAT, IRS, EDUSAT, etc. Asteroids Asteroids are rocky and metallic objects that orbit the Sun but are too small to be considered planets. They are found between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. The largest asteroid is the Ceres. According to the scientists, these asteroids are parts of a planet which exploded million of years back. Meteoroids Meteoroids are pieces of stone-like debris which move around the sun. They become meteors or shooting stars when they fall through Earth's atmosphere. They leave a bright trail as they are heated to incandescence by the friction of the air and are completely burnt. Sometimes a meteor without being completely burnt falls on the Earth and creates a hollow. Galaxy. You must have seen a whitish broad band like a white glowing path across the sky on a clear night. This white band is the Milky Way galaxy. It is actually a cluster of billions of stars. Our solar system is a part of this galaxy. In ancient India, it was imagined to be a river of light flowing in the sky. Therefore, it was named Akash Ganga. A galaxy consists of billions of stars, clouds of dust and gases. There are billions of such galaxies in the universe. It is difficult to find the exact size of the universe. Scientists are still trying to find out more and more about it.